tonight. Big Monday continues in the Big Eight, and the defending Big Eight champion Jayhawks, now number one in the country, are set to take on their interstate rival, the Wildcats of Kansas State. Along with Derek Dickey, I am Tim Brando, and here are your Admiral starting lineups. Anthony Bean will be the man to watch for K-State. He gets it done with penetration. He's a senior, and he's also a young man that has had to deliver in big moments in big games. Anthony Bean's a very smart player, makes very good decisions with the basketball. Dana Altman now in his fourth year at Kansas State. Managed a 19-win season and a trip to the NCAAs after beating Kansas in last year's Big 8 tournament. The Jayhawks look this way. It's Steve Woodbury, as always, the man for whom is responsible offensively for most of what they can accomplish. Steve starting to step up and play big for the Jayhawks. Had a very big game against Oklahoma last week and is really going to be the go-to guy. What an amazing run for this man. A winning percentage that's the best among active NCAA coaches. Roy Williams now in his sixth season. Oster Tag will get it underway along with Daryl Cunningham. House is packed as usual at venerable Fog Allen Fieldhouse. 324 days ago, almost a year ago to the day, Kansas was ranked number one and had to go into Manhattan. And frankly, Kansas State did all they needed other than shoot the ball particularly well in the second half or they might have knocked them off then. That's what Kansas State has to do in this basketball game. Shoot the ball well. Not a very good shooting team from the outside. Only about 40% from the field. ESPN's exclusive coverage of NCAA basketball is brought to you by the new Dodge, a division of the Chrysler Corporation. Halftime from Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas, the number one team in the country struggling against their cross-state rival, Kansas State, along with Derek Dickey, I'm Tim Brando, and it has been rebounding and defense for K-State that has been the prescription to this first half lead. But K-State has played excellent matchup defense against Kansas. Really not the traditional defense that they're accustomed to playing, but denying Steve Woodbury the opportunity to get a clear shot at the ball. You see K-State coming out on him, not letting him catch the ball. Woodbury goes through, still doesn't receive it. Chalk Vaughn gets a little more clearance. However, give K-State credit for playing good defense that first half to come away with the lead. The numbers, Kansas State 5 of 9 as a team from three-point range, and Kansas with Woodbury 0 for 4 from three-point range, a collective team 1 for 6. That's been a catalyst. And then Kansas State controlling the glass and Ostertag and Woodbury. Last week, they combined for those numbers, and tonight so far, only four points and four rebounds between them. And in the case of Woodbury, it has really been a drought. He is 0 for 8 in the game from the floor. Well, I'd like to have been a fly on the wall in Kansas' locker room at halftime. He's nicknamed Mr. Clutch. He'll have to earn it again right here. Jayhawks shoot for a possible tie on this possession. They do not need a three. There's plenty of time left in this game. They are lining up around the arc, though, aren't they? Vaughn penetrates. Sets up Pearson. We're tied at 64. Jacques Vaughn did exactly what Roy Williams wanted him to do, penetrate inside the zone and kick it back out for the wide open shot, and Pearson finishes it off. No timeouts remaining for Kansas State. There's the difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Worst case scenario, KU will have a final shot. This is telling Vaughn to watch his hands. Illustration of the five-second rule and the impact that it has on the game now. Bean. Oh, a big shot for Mr. Clutch. It's a two-point game. Excellent shot. Excellent penetration. Good concentration. Richie. Not there. Bean takes it down. And he's fouled by Vaughn. Do we see Kansas fall? Bean has to make these free throws. He needs to make at least one.
Watch Kansas as they come down trying to get a shot up. I thought he took, Richie took the shot a little too quick because Kansas had a better opportunity to get a good look at the shot. Dana Altman is excited. You think he just sunk a 50-foot putt for Eagle. <laughs> I know I would be excited.